Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Emerald, and I suppose it's time to make our way to the next town and just take care of whatever trainers get in our way. And there are quite a few. But, we're gonna have to get there eventually, so... I guess it's gonna be time for Seabreeze to prove her worth. Poochiana, eh? Well, this shouldn't be too bad. Poochiana ain't that powerful, after all, so let's go with Water Gun. Ah, buffing your stats. Not a terrible idea, actually. Unfortunately, it's not going to help you, because you won't survive long enough to take advantage of it. But I like the basic premise there. But that takes care of Calvin. Yeah, you really should have. Well, let's do this. Oh, bug Pokemon? Whoop de doo. It's not like we're on a fighting run here. So it's not like you even have a tactical advantage by using them. Well, let's make it rain on Wormple here. Oh, String Shot. Super scary. Yeah, I know. I just can't be impressed whenever it comes to these bugs, really. They're more a minor nuisance than an actual threat, unless they get off like poisonous thing and manage to poison you. You don't have any heals on you, like a full heal or an antidote, then you might be in trouble. But otherwise, eh. They're really not much to worry about. Now, if only I could reliably catch one and then have it turn out to be, you know, Beautifly. But whatever. I'm willing to catch Silcoon and raise it up to level 10. It'll be time consuming, but oh well. I'm gonna have to power level myself up anyway to get past the first gym leader. Um, I actually have made some progress with um Crystal at least. I got the Elite Four um video recorded. I just haven't uploaded it yet because I still have to get the um other two teams through. The normal team probably won't be too hard, assuming I pick up some XBs and stuff like that for Lance, so I can hopefully speed up Scout so she can just rain the pain down with Ice Beam. I'm sorry, Ice Punch, not Beam. Ugh. Bit off there, I guess. Yeah, this is not a particularly dangerous route. These Pokemon are all level, like, 4, darn it. Ooh, a Talo. I still gotta catch one of those. Well, that should take care of Talo at least. And Sea Breeze has gotta level up. There we go. Level 9. Well, you couldn't, because you're weak. Guess I'll take the berries. Of course, we can't really grow our own berries until we get the, um, watering can. Okay. Now let's get back to the trail. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you can try and keep winning, but you have to get past me. Not a small ass, to be honest. I'm already proving myself quite capable. Wow, that's an almost insurmountable disadvantage at this point. Five levels. I'll give it some credit, at least it threw out an attack, unlike my other opponents for the most part have been doing so far. Ugh. Didn't waste his time with the growl, it actually went straight for tackle. Ah, shroomish. Darn it. Well, let's confuse it. I'll need to turn off animations here pretty soon, though. They eat up more time than I really want. As always. Darn it! That didn't last very long. 
normal damage. Come on. Hit yourself and help me out here, little shroomish. Thank you. Of course, Shroomish isn't very physically strong, so I guess it didn't hurt that much, but whatever. Come on, another self smack, and I can kiss you off. Thank you. Eventually, Seabreeze will learn an actual flying technique. Then Shroomish wouldn't be so annoying. We'll get there. Eventually. Yep, you seriously did. I'll bet your 64 Poke Dollars isn't that helpful. Ooh, an item. Hmm. I guess I can use the potion. It won't help out too much against Roxanne, though. Well, let's hit up the Pokemon Center. Yep. Need to rest our sorry Pokemon. It took quite a bit of a beating. Not that bad of one, though, considering it only lost, what, 10 HP at most? Eh, I, was, I was hoping for a bit more from those trainers on that route. Instead, they did nothing but disappoint me. Hmm. Yep. We're all finished moving in. Yep, I'm going to be one of the best trainers ever, and I'm going to come back and beat you. <sighs> hmm. Yep, that's Wally, our future rival. At least they didn't let us name him. <laughs> well, if he's named Wally, does that mean he's related to the Flash? <laughs> you don't know how? It's called you just throw a Pokeball at it. Yep. He'll loan him his weak zigzagoon. I honestly don't know how he's able to hold his position as uh, so far in the line for gym leaders, considering how weak this zigzagoon is. He must have done some serious training while we were away. But now we get our um, tutorial on how to catch a Pokemon. Ugh, I hate these. Mm. Yes, yes they do. He's gonna catch himself a Ralts. Of course, I'm curious how he manages to level it up, considering it's level 5 and he doesn't learn any attacks until level 6. But whatever, maybe he had a rare candy on hand, I don't know. But yeah, seriously, the only thing I can do right now is growl. So he doesn't have to even worry about being attacked right now. That's a plus, I guess. It also means it's a bit easier for him to take this thing down to critical health without, you know, knocking it out. Hmm. It's not hard to throw a ball at it, come on. The game won't allow you to miss. No, I'm surprised he only brought one. Though since this is a tutorial, he's guaranteed to catch it. That's just how these tutorials work. I just wish we didn't have to sit through them all the time. <sighs> yeah, I know these games are played by little kids, but every time I have to sit here and watch this stuff, when I already know how to do it, it makes me feel like an idiot. <sighs> yeah, it worked out just fine. He got himself a Ralts. Which could be a bit of a problem later on down the road, because Ralts isn't too bad with Pokemon if you can set up right. <coughs> Already referring to his Pokemon as an It, eh? Yep, Respiro City. But taking her on is going to be a pain this run. A massive pain. Yeah, quite a bit stronger. But we'll deal with that when we get to it. Oh, great, it's that guy. 
Yep. Oh, I'm a rookie. Well, he'll show back up later. I don't know if I want to take care of the trainers on the beach or not right now. Really, I just want to pick up a Talo. The problem is it's not exactly the most common of finds over here. It's like 10% chance to find it. So it's a bit rare. Might be easier to find a Silcoon than it will be to find a Talo. But we can look. Oh, Meryl. Man, not Missy. Wish I was doing a water run and I could take up Pika Blue here. But whatever. We'll continue on the path of mastering flight. Uh, you're not what I'm looking for, Poochie, and I'm sorry. Well, at least you're a bit higher level than some of the other um, Pokemon I've seen. Then again, saving the trainers on this route might be a better idea, because I can use Silcoon against them and switch out. And hopefully level it up faster. Because trainer Pokemon are worth more than wild Pokemon by quite a bit. That's just the way it's always been. If you have a trainer, your Pokemon's usually considered, you know, just more powerful or better, because you know how to more effectively use its move pool. At least that's the general idea, I suppose. I have seen the game be pretty bad picking moves, though. Like in the um, Moimon episode I did earlier, where a Pidgey used Tackle Attack against my Mankey, of all things. Like, you have Gust, you're level 9, and you go with Tackle. Like, WTF, man. Like, seriously. What was he thinking? Like, the AI there made no sense. Like, if you went with Sand Attack, I could understand it. Because at least if you were lowering my accuracy, you could then pound me without having to worry about being attacked back or something. At least it would be a strategy. Um, not one you necessarily would have to go with when you got Type Advantage, but a strategy nonetheless. Come on, Talo. No, you're around here somewhere. <sighs> Wind gall. Not what I want. I already have one. I may pick up a second one for Roxanne. I'm not sure. I mean, I may want to do that. Depends on how things play out. Ah, Wurmple. Well, I don't care about you at all. I want something that's guaranteed to become a Beautifly, not something that could become a Dustox. I can't use Dustox. It's got the better moves, in my opinion, considering it gets psychic attacks, but I can't use you. Come on. Show up, Talo. I know you're in here somewhere. Yeah, whenever you're looking for a Pokemon, they always seem to be very scarce for some reason. Even common ones suddenly seem to just disappear on you when you're actively hunting them. I don't know if Meryl's even any good this generation. Eh. I have to look it up, I guess. Well, at least we finally found a Talo. I'm not sure what to call it just yet, but... Hopefully I can hit with the water gun and not kill it outright. Good, good. Survive that. Now they go into my bag. Let's see. Hopefully it just goes straight in the ball and doesn't put up too much of a fight. Aw, oh, man. So close. Aw, oh, man, it's getting pumped. It's probably preparing to peck us or something. Peck us hard. Good. Straight in the ball this time. Um. Uh, <laughs> larger Skarmory, huh? Hmm. 
I don't really have any good name for this yet. I mean... What should I call it? I don't know. Eh. Well, considering we didn't use Tail that much, hopefully this one will rise from the ashes of that one and become much more prominent this run. Got caught. Huh, I was hoping I could get past you and save this for later, but if we must fight, we must fight, I suppose. What you got, lady? Level 7. Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, at least it's got some levels on it, I guess. Enough for no tail whip. But you ain't gonna get off a tackle attack. Because this fight's already over. Now, if you had more Zigzagoons, I guess you could do the sub work, then try and knock me out in one blow. <sighs> At least she had some cash on her, I'll give her that much. We're not going very deep into these woods, though. Hopefully, we can find one early. Of course, only having one Pokeball might be a problem. It could be, could not be, not sure. Seriously? I find it this fast while I go in the Pelberg Woods. Maybe I should just came straight here instead of pothering outside. <sighs> Thought I had just been a lucky find right there. Uh, I don't want you, Wormple. I'm looking for Silcoon. Which may or may not be difficult to locate. Gosh darn it. Come on. Give it to me. Well, it's one cocoon. And it's the one we're looking for. Good. Hopefully it can take the water gun. Yep. Getting hard. Like all these bug Pokemon love to do. Now hopefully it doesn't bust my ball here. That's the only one I have on hand. Not even close. Gosh darn it. I'm gonna have to leave and come back. <sighs> I was counting on that one ball to work. And instead I got shot down. Hard. Ugh. Disappointing. It happens, but disappointing. Sometimes you get lucky and they just go in the first ball you throw, you know? I don't have to spend time, you know, wasting balls on them. That, that would have been preferable. Oh, you got X speed, X attacks. No X specials, though. Which would actually be useful. Um. Let's just go with three. I think three is more enough to catch a Silcoon, right? I mean, that last one got extremely lucky, but I don't think that's gonna happen again. Hopefully. Of course, I'm like, I'll find the next one, catch it in the first ball, and then get all upset about how I ended up spending so much money uselessly. Um. But yeah, I'd rather I'd found some like, specials at the store, because I'd probably buy those up in a heartbeat to prepare for Roxanne. Because X specials would actually help out. But, fine, whatever. If they're not there, they're not there. We'll just have to Hunt for another teammate at least. Let's see. Uh, Wormple. Not what I want. Hopefully, it won't take too long to find another Silcoon. I hope. You can tell them apart by how their eyes are positioned, I think, on the cocoon. 
Ooh, level six. So close to being a cocoon through um natural leveling. That's nice. Always does bug me somehow how you can go in these woods and find like silcoons and stuff. Oh, cascoon, great. Let's water gun it. It's good experience, so I can't really reasonably turn it down, you know, if it can help me out. Well, I'll take care of that. Well, back to the, the search. I was hoping we would have been done right there, but no. Gosh darn it. Another stinking wormpole. Maybe I should let Taylor lead off. I mean, at least Phoenix might be able to gain a few levels pecking my opponents into submission. Oh, I didn't heal you back up. Well, if I run across any, um, more Cascoons, I don't have to worry about it too much. They don't have any attacks. And Wurmples might waste time on String Shot. I mean, if they do attack, they probably won't be enough to knock me out. Yep, super effective. Seriously, you're just trying to lower my speed? Be gone. Yep, peck to death. Jeez, almost got a level up there. Aw, oh, Wurmple of all things. Pretty messed up. Okay, another Cascoon, darn it. Need the eye on the other side. Well, let's get pumped. You can harden all you want, I don't care. I'm trying to get a critical hit here. Aww. Getting pumped didn't help us out. Let's just peck it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Critical hit. Level 6, eh? Wow, almost two levels there. So close. Hmm. I'll well just leave this fight alone. It's probably not impossible for Phoenix to win in that fight, but... Why waste my time on an opponent I can't quickly take out? When there's so many much easier targets to be had here. <sighs> but why is it such a pain to find Silicon right now? Well, at least it's an actual attack this time. And it definitely hurt more than I thought it was. <sighs> but whatever. Plus two to HP, huh? Uh, about halfway to the next level. Another Cascoon. Gosh darn it. Just want another Silcoon game. Is it too much to ask for? <sighs> but let's get pumped, I guess. Let's try and get ourselves a critical hit with Peck. Yep, super effective, all right. I just can't see the land that critical hit when I want to. Now it's going to cost me a two-hit knockout, I guess. Note to self, next time just peck the enemy. Because I can't see the critical hit reliably after doing focus energy until a couple hits later. And that wasn't the intent. 
Nice, quick attack. That may come in handy at some point. Come on, game. Seriously? You let me find that one super early and quick, and now I'm being denied at every turn. <sighs> Another Cascoon. Gosh darn it. <sighs> Keeps getting my hopes up with these cocoons, and they keep being the wrong one. Come on, give me what I need, game. I don't like being denied like this. First of all, I'm looking for the rarer of the two um, evolved forms here. So I was just lucky that one time I found it so quickly. If only Wurmples didn't have um, uncontrollable personality issues when it came to what they evolve into. Forget. I don't want to fight them right now. <sighs> Shroomish? Really? Fine, I'll pack it real quick. Tackle attack, gotcha. Honestly, it would have been just as well off if it used Absorb. Sure, I only got one hit point back, but put a ton just as much damage. Or it would have done only one point, but still. Another bloody cat? No, it is a Silcoon. Okay. Well, unless I critical hit, it should take two hits to knock it out. Close. Almost took it out. <laughs> this thing must have pretty weak defenses. But finally, we found what we were looking for. Stand the ball. And Silcoon is caught. Okay. Yep. We'll call you Monarch. The same nickname I give all my Butterfrees. Because a Monarch Butterfly, that's why. Well, we already spent enough time on this episode trying to Fill out team, our team and stuff. We'll deal with going through the woods proper and probably finishing off the trainers on this route next time. I'm not sure what we'll do once we reach the next city, though. Might not do much of anything. Depends on all it takes to get there. Till next time, then. See ya.